big morning here at Fox 8 with our annual Stuff the Bus Drive. We're collecting school supplies and other important needs for kids in need this school year. And some of those students attend Cleveland schools. And here with an update from a region's largest district is new CMSD, CMSD CEO, Dr. Warren Morgan. On the job less mm -hmm. than a week. Yes. Yeah. And here in studio, <laughs> thank you for being with us. I would say welcome to yeah. Cleveland, but this is a, a welcome back of it's sorts. It's a welcome back. Yeah, it's, it's being back home. I was in the district before. Um, actually, it was my first central office job, and so it, I'm just both humbled and so grateful to return home. Well, so you gotta, you've already set out a plan, yeah, you got to have yeah, a plan, yeah. and yours is a three-step plan. Talk about that. Yeah, it is. So what's really important for me, I mean, um, Eric has done a great job to really build a foundation. And uh, as I really look at the next phase of our work and really thinking about how do we continue to have academic progress, think about equity, I really want to make sure we're connecting with the community. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's really important uh, to listen, mm -hmm. uh, to learn what's been happening and how, uh, what are the needs that people want to hear as we move forward. And then uh, so we can lead. Uh, mm -hmm. and when I, uh, not only myself leading as the leader, but uh, collectively lead um, both uh, uh, everyone who's involved in the district, but the community. So really excited about that opportunity. And you kind of set it up as a as a hundred day yeah. process, yeah. and you broke it down into those phases. Then yes, yeah, yeah. So now uh, there was a part that was like pre entry, and now that I, I've started, this is the entry. And so I'm um, looking forward to in the next few weeks really announcing um, those listening tours, uh, yeah. where those will be. I'll be going both into uh, schools as well as. Um, uh, going out into the community and just hearing um, and doing some coffee chats. I, I love coffee. coffee uh, so, yeah, we'll <laughs> be doing good those. To know. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. When, when you look at the, 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 the Cleveland School District and, and urban districts throughout the country, yeah. what's the biggest challenge? Yeah. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll first say this there's a lot of opportunity. Um, our kids have the greatest potential, opportunity, and can be successful like any other student. Um, but the biggest thing we really need to think about is how do we make sure that we, all the resources that we have for our students are leading to impact um, for them, but then also that is reflective of the success that they want to see and also mm -hmm. the success that uh, uh, is reflective of the community. And so I think that's the, the biggest challenge is really making sure that those uh, those resources are really uh, operated in a coherent way. Um, but I just know from the students I've met and from mm -hmm. the families I've met so far, mm -hmm. there is so much potential mm -hmm. um, that is already there and so mm -hmm. much greatness. It's about us unlocking that greatness and potential so our kids can thrive and win. And something that stood out to me, you, in speaking of something like that, you really have students' wellness yeah. at the yeah. forefront of what yeah. you want to do as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, student wellness, staff wellness, I mean, mm -hmm. Uh, always has been really important, particularly in urban education. But right now, um, um, there's there's just so much impacting our our kids, um, our educators, even before they hit the door of mm -hmm. the school. And so our schools need to be a safe haven. It needs yeah. to be a place where, uh, where students feel well and safe, secure, safe, yeah. but where they learn at high yeah. levels. Mm -hmm. So that's a, 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 a non-negotiable for me. That rigor is also really high. Too. What are your goals? Yeah, so uh, really right now, the important goals is really making sure I uh, learn what has been happening. Um, academic progress is top of mind for me. Um, so even as we're creating that safe environment, we need to make sure that academic progress is right at the uh, forefront. Um, and then we're providing our educators with the tools so that they could be successful in the classroom. Um, I laid out a three-step uh, plan in terms of how we're organ uh, um, uh, doing organizational mm -hmm. leadership for the district. Mm -hmm. And it's really around uh, clarity, clarity of mission, our goal and our progress coherence of the system that everything really makes sense and fits mm -hmm. together but that everything is aligned to that core and that's the instructional core what's happening with the teacher the student and the curriculum the teacher is teaching well and you have an extensive resume I mean, you, you came to us from indianapolis yeah. you've worked in the dc area as well yeah. i mean you've yeah. worked in large metropolitan yeah. districts yeah 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 i'm just really excited to take that learning um, because um, urban education is similar in many different contexts but there's many different things you can pick up and uh, i've been blessed and fortunate to uh, work with some amazing educators uh, many amazing mentors that i lean on um, and i'm just really excited uh, for the challenges, but also all the successes that are ahead of us. All right, uh, Warren Morgan, don't make this your last visit. No, no please yeah. come back. back and see His us again. energy is infectious, is it not? <laughs> yeah. it's, I think this, the, the district's in great hands Thank with you. you. So much. It's yeah. going to be wonderful to see what you have in store. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right.